Today we are talking about why CrowdStrike's recent outage can actually benefit its stock. For more stock analysis, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now, let's get right into it. Until recently, shares of CrowdStrike, which had been soaring to unprecedented levels, took a hit. The robust performance of its endpoint security solution was significantly boosting the use of its Falcon platform, which in turn attracted more investors, driving the company's valuation to impressive heights. However, investor confidence wavered when a software update for its Microsoft-based systems caused a substantial global information technology outage. As a result, CrowdStrike's stock plummeted by 11% on Friday, followed by an additional 13% decline in Monday's trading session. Despite this downturn in market sentiment, this incident may ultimately prove advantageous for CrowdStrike investors. In simple terms, long-term shareholders might benefit from this situation, as the price drop creates an enticing entry point for new investors. With the stock having decreased by approximately 35% over just 9 trading sessions, those who were previously hesitant might might see this as an ideal buying opportunity. Additionally, history suggests that companies addressing such issues tend to regain investor trust over time. For instance, a comparable scenario occurred with CrowdStrike's competitor, Palo Alto Networks. The company saw its value decrease by 28% when investors doubted its business strategy following the fiscal quarter 2 earnings report. However, Fortune Business Insights predicts a 14% compound annual growth rate for the cybersecurity sector through 2032. The consistent increase in demand for cybersecurity has helped Palo Alto recover, with its stock now only about 10% lower than it was before that earnings report. A similar recovery trajectory could support CrowdStrike's stock in the future. If the company's management acts swiftly to correct the mistake, investors are likely to refocus on the industry's growth trends which should eventually benefit CrowdStrike. Nonetheless, predicting short-term performance remains challenging. Investors are still assessing the full impact of the IT outage and its broader implications. The cybersecurity stock's immediate future is uncertain, and as demonstrated by the second trading session, post-outage, further declines are possible. Moreover, CrowdStrike's stock remains relatively expensive. Having only recently achieved profitability, some investors might overlook its forward price-to-earnings ratio of around 66. However, its price-to-sales ratio of 20 might be more difficult to justify, making it pricier compared to its direct competitors. During this period of uncertainty, this multiple might drop further, especially with slowing revenue growth rates. In the first quarter of fiscal 2025, ending on April 30th, CrowdStrike's revenue increased by 33% year-over-year year to $921 million. Although this growth surpasses the industry's forecasted compound annual growth rate, it is slightly below the 36% growth reported in fiscal 2024. Furthermore, before the outage, CrowdStrike had anticipated fiscal 2025 revenue between $3,980,000,000 million and $4,000,000,000. The midpoint of this range implies a growth rate of 30%, which could trigger additional selling. Given the current state of CrowdStrike, potential investors might consider purchasing its shares. The company remains a leader in its field, and a single incident is unlikely to alter that status. However, the strategy of acquiring CrowdStrike stock is crucial. Rather than making a single large purchase, investors might benefit from gradually building their stake. If you are considering adding this stock to your portfolio, now might be an optimal time to start through dollar cost averaging. The significant drop during the second trading session following the outage underscores this point. An investor who made a full investment on the day of the outage would have faced substantial losses just 24 hours later. Conversely, those who purchase smaller amounts now will still hold a position if the stock quickly rebounds. The dollar cost averaging approach allows investors to acquire more shares with the same capital if prices continue to decline, thereby reducing risk during this volatile period. Ultimately, shareholders might find themselves better off following this stock price decline. While public missteps and a falling stock price are not ideal, they do create opportunities for investors. If investors are unhappy with management's response to the event, the negative effects could linger. However, if CrowdStrike adjusts its strategy effectively, investors who have been waiting may now buy at a lower price. Assuming the stock reaches its previous high, there could be increased shareholder demand as the investment case for CrowdStrike strengthens over the long term. In the end, CrowdStrike's stock, previously at record highs, faced significant declines following an IT outage caused by a software update. This created a potential buying opportunity for investors. Despite short-term uncertainties, the cybersecurity industry's growth prospects and 
historical recoveries of similar companies, like Palo Alto Networks, suggest potential for long-term gains. Investors are advised to consider dollar cost averaging to mitigate risks during this volatile period. Effective management responses could help CrowdStrike regain investor confidence and achieve higher valuations over time. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.